Hey everybody, this is Mike the Man with Swiss Negative .net, and I want to make a very quick video to talk about a couple of things that I have noticed while doing my research when it comes to the blood type frequencies by country, including the orange factor. And the one thing that I have learned is that everywhere, almost every country that you go to, you always have certain discrepancies. And by discrepancy, I mean that there are certain regions usually which are either high or low in RH negative percentages and there are also certain groups of people which are different when it comes to the percentage of RH negative people amongst them. One of the examples of course is the Ainu people of Japan and the Ainu people I have talked about before and I finally realized that their blood types percentage of 8.7% RH negative. Now 8.7% you may say, wow, what's the big deal? But compare that to the rest of Japan, which is at around less than 1%. So the Ainus have 10 times the percentage of RH negatives as the rest of Japan. And there are other groups of people, of course, uh, you can also look in Chile, for example. When you look at Chile, the percentage of Irish negatives is somewhere around 2%, maybe 3%. But when you look at the upper incla income class, uh, it's more than 15% there. So, something like 10 times as much of the national average also. Basically, Whenever you look at RH negative percentages, always look at the region. The region is normally what gives us more of a clue. Now, needless to say, you know, the, the certain groups of people, they impact the overall percentage, but it doesn't really tell us very, very much because the Ainus, for example, they also live in Russia. And uh, then you look at the wiser people of Switzerland and um, I have researched them a little bit and realized that they are, have a very high percentage of Irish negative people and a very high percentage of red-headed people with uh, blue eyes. These are the kind of people that we are looking for of course. These are the tribes that we are interested in because they seem to have the same origin you know, that we have as Irish negative people. Now, another thing that I have noticed is that uh, when you look at blood banks for information, blood banks to give you, you know, the numbers of donors, of percentage of the blood types of the donors, it can be misleading. It can be misleading because just the other day, for example, I've looked at the group for Lebanon and they're having a constant drive for all negative people. They always want all negative people. So if for example you look at a number where you know it's 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 two percent A negatives, one percent B negatives and zero point five percent A B negatives, and then it's like eight percent O negatives, something may be wrong. Well it's a true number. They have probably eight percent O negative donors, but the reason they have so many is because they actively promote towards O negative people. So this doesn't reflect the percentage of the country. What normally is better to reflect the percentage of the overall population would be the receivers, random receivers. If you have any information, I'm still missing a few numbers like Indonesia, do not hesitate to contact me and let me know. And if you need information for on, you know, if you want the latest update on our research, please go to researchnegative.net. This is Mike Demand.